In this video, we'll go ahead and show you how to add loads to your model as well as adding load combinations uh, for further analysis. So uh, underneath the Analyze tab, you'll notice that we've currently put in uh, boundary conditions here. We have fixed boundary conditions on our uh, model. We'll then now go to the Loads tab and you'll see six different types of loads that we can put in here. We got point loads, line loads, area loads, and then you can have hosted loads to specific members. So if you had a beam, you could host it directly on that beam or a beam system, you can host it directly on that system. We'll start out with just an area load and you'll notice that the uh, <clears throat> visual is broken up into two windows. We've got the analytical model here and then the level two. When we do this, it's best to put area loads in on whatever plane you're looking at. So in, case, in this case, level two is exactly where we would like to place it. And we're going to use a rectangle here. Uh, that rectangle uh, we'll just basically draw in that level. Once we come to level two, and we can just draw it in like so. Now once that rectangle goes in, you'll notice on the left that area load has some properties here. The default is set is actually negative uh, one here and we've changed that to negative 0 0.040 kips per square foot. That means that's 40 pounds per square foot uh, in reference there. And I can change the direction. This is Z is going downward, X and Y are the other options. Uh, and so once we hit the check mark, we'll go ahead and see that that does come through. You can visually see that there is a yellow load uh, that came in there. Now I can click on it in this window and show that load and what it shows is as a le uh, live load. So whatever the most recent loading was uh, created, it shows that the default is dead load, but you can change this from a dead load to a live load, wind load, snow load, on down the line to seismic here. Now, uh, in our case, that we will keep that as a live load there, but next, more tricky, is adding a wind load to the side of our structure. Uh, in this case here, you'll notice that if I go in and I want to, from an east view, if I go down to my project browser, I go down to the east, if I want to put that on there, and I, uh, and I try and place a loading in that east view, as I zoom in, it's going to ask me uh, for the plane that I'm going to be working in. So if I hit loads here, and I put area load, it's going to want to know where to put that. And when we do that, uh, it'll either ask you or you're going to need to set a work plane. So our work plane, um, in this current case here, there's not associated. So the easiest way to do this is if I cancel that, I'm going to come back into my level two. I'm just going to cancel out of this all together. And to know exactly where we're putting it, if we go and put in grids, so you can go to your structure and place in uh, under datums. We just want to put in a couple grids here. Uh, five, six, this has already been done, so it didn't start at one, but you get the idea, we can put in these ones. So if we wanna put it in on that, uh, on six there, I can basically uh, go in and start f setting the work plane from where my loads are created. So we'll go back to our uh, Analyze tab, click on our loads, uh, come back to Area Load. When that's selected, you'll notice this set the work plane here. So we're gonna set uh, the work plane and it'll give us an option now once those grids are created. So we want to put it on six and hit OK. Uh, then it's going to ask us to put it us in the correct view in order to do that. So you can either do this from the west or from the east. Either one will work and we'll hit open view. And that then is going to be uh, where we will now officially draw that knowing for sure that our model, our loading is being put in that work plane. Uh, now, We'll go ahead and hit that check mark, and you'll notice when that comes in that it comes in as yellow pointed down. So the default settings that we had for the previous load came in for this load as well. So on that work plane, everything is being pulled downward. In this case here, for a wind load, we want it to be uh, in the direction of the wind, so we want to be in the X or Y direction. Uh, so if I escape out and then click on this load, I have a chance to change first off the type of load to a wind load. And then down here, instead of this being in the Z direction, I'm going to put it in the negative 0.1 direction. So be 10 pounds per square foot in that direction. Hit apply, and then visually it'll show that now that is traveling in a correct direction, as well as the color has changed, showing that it's a wind load as opposed to a live load.